Sixth race is the second division of the 2004 Harvest Stakes. And they're off and pacing. Bursting out in the center of the track was Beloved Angel. At the flank of that one is Showtime. Lad Dolce Hall, widest of all. Western Cruise, Tarport Julie is racing up into the top five. That's Tai Chi Hanover, wanting in line from sixth position. Pacific Supreme left in seventh and Wacky Sign is the early trailer. George Brennan makes front. Lad Dolce Hall to the point, overcoming the outside post to lead it. Showtime was well away in second. Western Cruise set third, 26 and four. The two-year-old Phillies just blazed the opening panel and La Dolce Hall set up shop on the top end. La Dolce Hall by two on Showtime up to three-eighths completion. Western Cruise is on the inside third. Tarport Julie landed out in fourth. Tai Chi Hanover is fifth. Beloved Angel parked in sixth position. Western Cruise drove out from third, goes on the attack on the way to the half and may soon be clearing off the lead. Uh, mired in the backfield are Pacific Supreme. Wacky Sign is eighth on the outside and Western Cruise and Steve Condren made the move successfully to the top. It was half a mile though in a sharp 55 and 4 on the way to the final turn. Western Cruise leads it a length to La Dolce Hall and they're moving on down to three quarters. Now the uncovered attacker is Tar Poor Julie with Showtime along the inside and fourth. A breaker on the final turn was Beloved Angel going out of contention. The trailing trio are Tai Chi Hanover and that specific supreme on the inside of Wacky Sign, Beloved Angel went out of it with a final turn break into the top of the stretch in 125 flat. It's the second division of the 2004 Harvest Stakes. Western Cruise is putting on a hugely powerful display. And Steve Condren has this filly moving away through the stretch. It's all Western Cruise. Western Cruise is going to win this by close to a full tote board width. At 70 to 1, Pacific Supreme is up there second. Showtime was third. 153 and 2 uh, Western Cruise. Sixth race in Mohawk, second 2004 division of the Harvest Stakes. Western Hanover. Two year old Bay Philly from Affluence. Owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky. Trained by Bob McIntosh. Trip to victory by Steve Condren. will come up in just a few moments. I'm start tonight uh, winning in 53 and 2. Steve, um, just talk about the trip tonight. You changed tactics up a little bit and she responded well. Yeah, um, you know, she been racing kind of decent her last couple starts and showing a lot of kick at the end, but uh, you know, to compete against uh, some of the other top fillies, she's got to show a little bit of grit up front and uh, I decided to race her that way tonight and she looks like she belongs. Uh, how much did she have left in the tank tonight? Well, she's a little green. I think it's the second, only the second time she's ever on the front end. And, uh, you know, she relaxed good and everything. And when I asked her, I mean, she was fine. But, you know, uh, she's been learning how to chase down horses. And uh, so she responded well. Uh, is it too early to tell uh, whether she's got the, the stamp of what you'd call a special filly? Um, uh, she's a little slow coming along. That's why she's late uh, getting started this year. But she's progressing in the right direction. Uh, you know, time will tell. Another, but she'll have probably six weeks of racing or so. And time will tell. She'll show up. I'm pretty sure at the end. What does she have left to uh, to try and fine tune if she's going to uh, be able to compete at the top level at season's end? Well, I think uh, I think she's got a couple starts in Lexington and probably back here for the Breeders' Crown and. Uh, you know, a couple of the other stakes. So uh, hopefully, you know, that's enough starts for her and she comes back as a nice three-year-old too. All right, good luck with her the rest of the way. Good luck the rest of the way tonight. Great, thanks, Greg. Steve Condren winning there with the favorite Western Cruise in our second harvest division. Picks up a nice catch drive in this upcoming seventh to fill us in on more details about that as we wrap up the win four back up to Frank.